Hey puddins and welcome back to History of the Batman. I'm London and here we relive the defining moments of one of the most iconic figures in comic book art and literature, DC Comics Batman. This September, us Batman fans have a lot to celebrate. Not only is it DC Comics' official Batman Day, but also it's the 25th anniversary of the 1990s television show Batman the Animated Series and it's the 25th anniversary of the debut of the character Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is a very special character and she has done something not many characters within the DC Universe have done before. She went from being made for television all the way into comic book continuity. For this episode, we are going to celebrate the character Harley Quinn with a brief evolution of her time from Batman the Animated Series all the way to today in current comics and her persona on the big screen. So let us go back all the way to 1992 when writer Paul Dini and artist Bruce Timm wanted to make a female counterpart for the character The Joker, who's voiced by the one and only Mark Hamill, for Batman the Animated Series. This new character debuted in the episode titled Joker's Favor, which originally aired September 11th, 1992. In this episode, we see the clown prince of crime's more sadistic side when he tracks down an ordinary man that owes him a dangerous favor. Here is where we meet the cute and chaotic Harley Quinn. Ironically, she was made for a walk-on role for just this episode. However, she became an overnight sensation and gained her own Harley-centric episodes from Harley's Holiday to Harley Quinnade to even the buddy episode Harley and Ivy where she becomes BFFs with the femme fatale Poison Ivy. Voiced by Arlene Sorkin, the character's Brooklyn accent mixed with her bubbly persona made her a smash hit on the television series that the audience couldn't get enough of. Harley Quinn wasn't just a hit on the TV series, but also in comic books. She debuted in the pages of Kelly Puckett's The Batman Adventures No. 12 in 1993 based off the animated series. The following year, Paul Dini and Bruce Timm gave Harley Quinn her own origin story in the one-shot graphic novel The Batman Adventures Mad Love. Before she was the Joker's sidekick, she was Dr. Harleen Quinzel working at Arkham Asylum, where she is immediately drawn to her newest patient, the Joker. Harleen falls in love with him, believing that all of the bad he has done in the world is a combination of a supposedly rough childhood with his father and the Batman bringing him down. To prove her devotion, Harleen robs a costume shop and bursts into Joker's cell, telling him to say hello to his Harley Quinn. While many people see Joker and Harley interact with each other on Batman the Animated Series and in the comics, they think they're a match made in heaven with Joker's crazy matching Harley's crazy. However, Joker would continuously emotionally and physically abuse Harley and her affections most often than not are to be unrequited. Harley's comic book origin in 1999 became an episode Mad Love on the new Batman Adventures which rounded out the television series. 1999 was a huge year for Harley Quinn because she went from television all the way into Batman comic book continuity in Paul Dini's one-shot graphic novel, Batman Harley Quinn, that was a tie-in to the epic 1999 Batman saga, Batman No Man's Land. This issue was important because, thanks to her friend Poison Ivy, she developed immunity to toxins and gained super strength making her already gymnastic qualities out of this world. Since Harley Quinn was literally created for the Joker for the TV show Batman the Animated Series, once she jumped into comics, creators believed it was time for her to have her own solo adventures that weren't always connected to her pudding. Running 38 issues from 2001 to 2003, Carl Kessel and Terry Dodson's Harley Quinn Volume 1 explores the persona of Harleen Quinzel and her attraction to the chaotic personalities like the Jokers, going deeper into the psyche of this fan favorite character. Harley Quinn over the next decade would appear in several Batman arcs. From Jeff Loeb's Batman Hush, to Grant Morrison's The Clown at Midnight, to Paul Dini's run on Detective Comics with Harley many times over trying to start a new life outside of Arkham Asylum. 
Before the New 52, Harley Quinn would join a trio consisting of Poison Ivy and Catwoman in Deanie and Gillum March's Gotham City Sirens. When the DC Comics Initiative, The New 52, began starting in September of 2011, Harley Quinn's role in the DC Universe became larger than life. Harley was not only recruited into the lethal team of Amanda Waller's Suicide Squad, originally written by Adam Glass, but also she was given her own publication. Connor's Harley Quinn was important for the character's overall growth because while she kept her chaotically cute adventures in every issue, she learned what was best for her in her personal relationships, in particular her dynamic with herself and the Joker, which led to a climax in the Batman saga Death of the Family. Ever since then, Harley Quinn still has a major impact on both the New 52 and the current DC Rebirth comics. She's still part of the Suicide Squad, has her own team of publication, Harley's Little Black Book, and has an immense presence in the video game world in the franchises such as Injustice, Gods Among Us, and the Batman Arkham series. Harley Quinn's popularity skyrocketed once she was the star in David Ayer's Academy Award winning DC Extended Universe film Suicide Squad, which came out in August of 2016. Based off of the New 52 book of the same name, Margot Robbie portrayed Harley Quinn and many fans outside of comic book readers were introduced to Harley as an insane but incredibly fun persona that easily was a fan favorite part of the film. Harley's presence is seen on the big screen, in animated films like the recent Batman and Harley Quinn, in several comic books, and in animated shows like the kids-friendly DC Superhero Girls, making Harley Quinn a fun female character for all ages. This September, we are celebrating Harley Quinn's 25th birthday, and it's no wonder that she is such a fan-favorite character. From her fun and crazy personality introduced in 1992's Batman the Animated Series to her endearing passion and slightly obsessive relationship with the Joker to her lunging into the comic book world and captivating more audiences all over the world, Harley Quinn is a character to celebrate and we are so happy that she is a beautiful part of this growing DC Universe that we celebrate every day. So I want to wish one of my favorite Batman characters, Harley Quinn, a very happy birthday and I know we'll still be talking about her for 25 more years to come. Thanks so much for watching this video and we will have more Batman and DC Comics history soon on the DC Fans channel. Remember Puddins, it's all about peace, love, and Batman.